Last year, U.S. News ranked the 2022 Lucid Air as one of the best luxury EVs in its class. Despite this, Elon Musk recently tweeted a grim demise on Lucid Motors. Today, we'll see if Elon Musk's prediction has any merit. We'll look at Lucid Motors and the troubles they're facing. We'll also look at some of Elon Musk's other predictions for Lucid. And spoiler alert, it's not good news. Needless to say, Lucid Motors is one of Tesla's biggest competitors in the EV space. Lucid's own Twitter page reads, here for luxury, here for performance, here for good. But in Elon Musk's opinion, that might not be the case for much longer. In early December 2022, Elon Musk tweeted about Lucid Motors. They are not long for this world. With that one simple tweet, Musk proved again that he is not one to mince words. So why is Elon Musk feeling so extremely negative about Lucid? The simple answer is that Lucid is indeed in trouble. Here's why. A few weeks ago, emails from Lucid Motors to its employees got leaked out. They shed light on the pressure brewing inside the EV giant. In 2022, Lucid production lagged behind. And that was a big hit for Lucid, especially during the holiday season. On top of that, in the first three quarters of 2022, Lucid produced exactly 3,687 vehicles, whereas the initial production target was 6,000 to 7,000 vehicles by year end. But it's not just that. Lucid also saw its reservations drop. I'm talking a whopping 3,000 vehicles from the second to the third quarter of 2022. In the third quarter, earnings call, Lucid CFO Sherry House attributed the drop in reservations to a combination of production delay and customer cancellations. But Lucid didn't stop there. In a leaked email sent to Lucid retail employees, Lucid said that every cancellation is a failure. The email then went on to explain an elaborate process to save those failures. Here's the thing. When a customer requests to cancel their order, this request is assigned to what's known as a Lucid case owner. The Lucid case owner has to call the customer within 24 hours to attempt to save the order. If they can't reach your customer, then they have to attempt to call three more times on consecutive days. After that, the case escalates up to a manager who reviews the logged activities and then calls the customer within 24 hours. If the manager is unable to reach the customer, then he attempts to call five more times on consecutive days. And after all that, the manager still can't reach the customer. Believe it or not, the case then goes to a regional manager. The regional manager attempts to call the customer within 24 hours. And if the regional manager cannot reach the customer the first time, then he has to attempt three more times on consecutive days. After all these efforts, if no contact was made, then finally the reservation gets canceled. All in all, from the customer perspective, this means if you cancel your order, you can expect a call or voicemail from Lucid relentlessly every day for a good two weeks unless you pick up. But that's not all. There was yet a second leaked email. This time, Lucid introduced vacation blackout periods around the end of your holiday period for certain employees. For example, November 24 to 27 and also December 17 to 31st. Obviously, we're talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday seasons. The email explained that during these blackout periods, employees might be required to work holidays and won't be eligible to take vacation time. According to Lucid, this alternate holiday calendar applies to its field sales, service delivery departments, and headquarters sales and delivery employees. That's the latest drama around Lucid, but their problems go way beyond that. Some say that Lucid Motors jumped onto the electric performance industry a few years too late. Orders are backlogged. Demand is shrinking. And a few weeks ago, Lucid began offering discounts to try to make up for it all. In an email to customers with delayed orders, Lucid said it would reinstate the orders to the original legacy pricing of $139,000 for the Lucid Air Grand Touring. That comes out to a discount of 10%. The same email continued to say that any reinstated order could be completed in a few weeks. On top of that, Lucid also started an employee purchase program that gives employees an $18,000 discount on the Air Grand Touring model. Obviously, they want to boost internal sales with incentives. Lucid is also featuring delivery-ready models and offering a subsidized 2.81% annual interest rate in-house financing. But here's the thing. None of these incentives change the fact that the price tag of $150 $50,000 is beyond affordable for the average American consumer. Despite Elon Musk's prediction of doom for Lucid, the car brand actually expects the revenue to grow by $3.2 billion as it ramps up production at its Arizona factory and begins construction at its Saudi Arabia plant. But the reality is, to reach the revenue target, Lucid has to, at minimum, maintain its current order of 34,000 units, and furthermore, ideally increase orders. But that'll be no easy task given the cancellation that's been coming through already. 
Here's the interesting thing. In a way, you could say that Lucid is an indirect spin-off of Tesla. Not by Elon Musk, but by people who actually used to work at Tesla. Here's what I mean. Lucid was actually founded by a former Tesla executive and board member. Today, Lucid is led by Peter Rawlinson. And Peter Rawlinson also worked for Tesla as a VP of Vehicle Engineering and Chief Engineer of the Model S before its launch. Before that, Rawlinson was also Chief Engineer at Lotus Cars and the Principal Engineer at Jaguar Cars. Lucid Motors was found all the way back in 2007. You might be surprised to learn this, but the company wasn't always known as Lucid Motors. It was formerly known as Ativa. Back then, the company focused on developing batteries and electric powertrains for other vehicle manufacturers. But eventually, after time, it accumulated over 50 patents pertaining to its core battery system. And that's in the U.S. alone. Then came 2013, and the company began to wonder, could we make an electric vehicle of our own? That's when Peter Rawlinson joined the company as Chief Technology Officer. Fast forward a few years. The company company went to Lexicon Branding, a firm that specializes in creating brand names. This is the same company also coined Subaru's Outback and Forester names, GM's OnStar, Mercedes Metris, and Toyota's Venza and Scion brands. With the help of this firm, Ativa announced it was rebranding itself as Lucid Motors, and the company would focus on making an all-electric luxury vehicle. But let's jump back to the present and back to Elon Musk. Now, here's the thing you got to understand about Elon Musk. Whether you agree with his prediction about Lucid or not, one thing we can all agree on is that his tweets have power. A lot more than you might realize. In fact, with that recent single tweet predicting Lucid's demise, Elon Musk actually caused a media frenzy. But that's not the only storm he's been stirring up. Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion back in October. Since he took over, Elon Musk has caused what many are calling chaos and confusion for employees. You users and the advertisers. Twitter's former head of trust and safety questions the rapid fire changes Elon's been making with Twitter. And he says he's putting the safety of Twitter's most vulnerable users around the world at risk. These vulnerable users include people like human rights activists and free speech advocates. Let me give you an example. After Elon bought the social media giant, he started to reinstate accounts that had been previously banned for violating Twitter's rules. Take Donald Trump as case in points. Basically, Musk announced a general amnesty for many suspended accounts. Twitter also updated its online rulebook to say that it was no longer enforcing policies against misleading claims about COVID-19. That's not all. Perhaps one of the biggest shocks to Twitter employees was the layoff. I'm talking about contract content moderators, Twitter's human rights teams, investigators working to curb political manipulation, and child sexual abuse material. All of them got laid off. Apparently, Musk issued an ultimatum to the remaining employees requiring them to either commit to a new hardcore Twitter or just resign. And that caused even more people to leave the company. But it's not just about employees that left the social media platform after Musk took over. Users have too. The list continues. Less than a month after Musk took over, half of Twitter's top 100 advertisers stopped spending on the platform completely. And civil rights group also documented a rise in hate speech on Twitter ever since Musk took over. Here's another change Musk implemented, which is its fair share of controversy. In the past, if you saw a blue check mark next to a user's name on Twitter, that was a verified guarantee that the user was who they said they were. But when Musk took over Twitter, he began selling blue check marks without any actual verification. That meant multiple verified accounts started popping up from people who were lying about their true identities. For example, an account popped up posing as pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly. It tweeted that insulin is free now. Believe it or not, this caused the pharmaceutical company stock to drop. Anyway, if you think Elon Musk's opinion on Lucid was isolated to his recent post, well, think again. Back in June, Elon Musk claimed that both Lucid and even Rivian were tracking towards bankruptcy. His belief is that unless Lucid and Rivian cut their production costs dramatically, they'll only get deeper into trouble and end up in the car cemetery. If you're wondering if his doomsday prediction has any merit, well, just look at some facts. Right now, Lucid is facing real problems to keep current customers interested and to gain new ones. And despite the discounts and incentives it's offering, analysts aren't sure this will be enough. Instead, they believe Lucid needs to change strategy altogether and consider offering more affordable cars. Now, don't get me wrong, Lucid is, in a way, trying out this option with its lower-priced Air Pure. But the problem is, the Air Pure is still months away from even starting production. Lucid is mostly funded by the Saudi Arabian-based Public Investment Fund. That's one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the whole world. Reportedly, Lucid has enough money right now to stay afloat for one year. So, the worst-case scenario, they have that to fall upon. The thing is, Lucid is making money. In its third quarter, 2022, the company had a revenue of close to $200 million, and it has plans to 
to introduce its second model, the Lucid Gravity SUV. That'll be in either 2023 or 2024. But now, you tell me, do you agree with Elon Musk about Lucid's impending death? And do you think his organizational changes within Twitter will grow the platform or kill it off? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.